This is why the Dapper Dinos NFT launch failed. Dapper Dinos is one of the newest NFT projects and it's the first project in Gary Vee's PLP NFT program. There was a lot of hype surrounding this project, but the launch almost caused the dinos extinction. Why was the launch such a disaster? And what are Dapper Dinos anyway? Should you invest in this NFT project or will doing so cause your money to go extinct as well? I'll be answering each of those questions in this video. My name is Devin Cook. Let's talk about some dinos and welcome back to Dev Money. All right, so for starters, what are the Dapper Dinos? Dino's NFT project. Well, it's a new project that just launched on September 15th, so not too long ago. It's already sold out. They had the mint and everything, but there were a lot of things that didn't go according to plan, and it caused a lot of people in the community to be pretty upset about it. Now, before we get too much into what went wrong with the launch, let's go over the project real quick and we'll jump into their website. You can see here that they are already sold out, and then you can scroll through their website and see all the information about the Dapper Dinos. You can see they've written stuff about how dinosaurs are supposed to be dapper and dashing and all of this kind of stuff right here. And then down here, you're going to have your Dapper Nomics. And so you're going to see here a bunch of the different trait options that you're going to have with your dinosaurs. So this color, this color, this color, all of these different colors. And you can see that the purple and pink ones are most rare as far as the backgrounds go on the dinosaurs. And then you can see all of the different traits and everything. You have eight different backgrounds, 19 different skins, 44 different clothes, seven different accessories, and so on and so forth. There's a total of 9,999 dinosaurs, basically 10,000. And the original mint cost was supposed to be 0 0.0555 Ethereum. And we'll get more into that later as well. And then the paleontologists or the people behind the team are all of right here. So you can read here, Big Head, Tiny Arms, Web and Solidity Developer, Pascal. He's an above average scientist during the day, Dapper Developer at night, Community Manager here, Velociraptor, Part-Time Philosopher, Think Aristotle, but better. And so you can read some more about the developers here. And then probably the most important part to look at on their website is their roadmap, what they're going to be doing with this NFT project. So you can see they're going to launch the Dapper Dinos. There might be some hidden surprises in the initial mint. The next step is a mystery comma appears. What does it mean? No one really knows. People have been asking about it in the Discord, but there isn't yet any information about what this means. Then they're going to be giving back to some different charities through the Dapper Dino program. And also you're going to get some monthly surprises, some different NFTs, some monthly collaborations with other artists and projects, monthly airdrops, etc. Then there's going to be a creator fund that they launch to help grow the Dinoverse. And then you're going to be able to breed the dinosaurs apparently as well through a generative NFT project. They say they have plans to bring an incredible breeding system to market faster than the Cosmophangathalus, whatever that says. I know I didn't pronounce it right. And then they're going to launch this Crustaceous Park. Again, we don't have a lot of information about what this means, but this is all they have to say about it. And then they're going to launch Generation 2 because currently the dinosaurs are, as you can see, basically T-Rexes, Tyrannosaurus Rexes. From what I know about dinosaurs, correct me if I'm wrong. But then they also say that they're going to launch new dinosaurs as well. Think Pterodactyls and Plesiosauruses, things like that. So in the future, it sounds like there's going to be more launches from these same developers, which is pretty exciting. And if all of those go well and the brand continues to build, this could potentially increase the value of the current first generation dinosaurs. And then you can read some more information about why they made the Dapper Dinosaurs. They basically said they made them for their kids. They really like dinosaurs and basically they're a bunch of nerds into the dinosaurs, which is totally fine and pretty cool. And if you're into something, go ahead and make a business out of it. Why not? Now the Dapper Dinos are the first NFT project in Gary Vee's PLP program. It stands for pre-launch program. And it's basically a program where you can submit your NFT project to be reviewed by Gary Vee's team and the V Friends team. And then if you get accepted into the PLP program, a certain amount of your NFTs will go to V Friends holders as a perk of being a V friend holder. And with the Dapper Dinos, part of being with the PLP program, 555 of these Dapper Dinos were airdropped to random V friends holders. And so you can see on the V friends PLP website, you can see that September 15th was the launch of Dapper Dinos. September 26th is going to be the next one, October 15th, October 29th. And I'm sure there's going to be more after that. As it says, we will randomly select 555 wallet addresses of our V friends holders. And on a per project basis, token delivery mechanics will be unveiled for each PLP project. So if you have a V friend, and you do have a chance of getting one of these PLP program NFTs airdropped right into your wallet without having to do anything or pay for anything at all, which is a pretty cool perk. Now, as you would expect, when Gary Vee gets behind your NFT project, you get a lot more traction and a lot more hype surrounding it. And so you can see from the Twitter, they have about 8,500 followers. There weren't that many when I first started following them on Twitter or kind of checking out what they were doing. But when it was announced that they were part of the PLP program, that following increased quite a bit by a couple of thousand, if I remember correctly. And their Discord as well has jumped to about 16,000 members. So they do have quite the community there.
there as well. So that's what you need to know about the Dapper Dino program, but why was the launch such a disaster? Well, there was a couple of things that went on. If you watch my Galaxy Egg video, you'll know that they had a problem as well with their launch, where basically a group of people and the company got together and bought an entire block on the blockchain, so that way they can ram a bunch of transactions through and mint a bunch of the eggs. And from my understanding, the Dapper Dino's creators got word that the same thing was gonna be happening with their launch. There was a group of people or a company that was getting together and were gonna be buying about 30 to 40% of all of these eggs. And they didn't really want their launch to go that way. They wanted everybody to have an equal opportunity to mint. And so what they did was actually postpone the launch and public mint of the dinos by just a couple of hours. That way they could come up with a better way and a more feasible way to get these dinos minted by their community and not just by a couple of people that would end up having hundreds of dinos in their wallets. And so we can go into their Discord and see what their solution to that was. And here you can see from one of the creators in the announcement section, we have been aware of a targeted attempt to hijack our supply at launch and use nefarious methods to mint dapper dinos, which would prevent a large portion of our honest and loyal communities at having a fair chance at minting. Therefore, we have made the decision to potentially delay the public launch and reveal slightly so that our alternative launch plan can be rolled out. We will still be launching today, but the health of the project and fairness to our community is always and will be our number one priority. And so that was the announcement that everyone got. And so everyone was expecting that we weren't going to be launching at 1 p.m. Eastern like we were supposed to, which is stated right up here. And so then what they ended up doing, which it looks like they took that message off of their announcements, was they basically sent out a Google form on their announcements on their Discord and said, hey, fill out this form. You can mint up to three. You can select one, two, or three eggs to mint. Put in your information, put in your wallet address, and then we're gonna basically go on a first come, first serve basis where the first people to submit that form are gonna be able to mint the eggs. Basically, they were creating a whitelist. And then we can see their next announcement, which was that the drop has sold out. We know the exact order of the forms. Again, thank you for being patient and you guys rock. So they closed out the form at that point. You couldn't go submit that you wanted to mint and you basically didn't have a chance to get on this whitelist. And what they did with the form as well is instead of minting at that 0.0555 Ethereum price, you were actually minting at 0.08 to account for a small gas fee since they would be paying the gas fees to send them to your wallet. So if you wanted to mint three, which was the max, you would be paying 0.24 Ethereum for those eggs. And the reason everybody was upset in the Discord is because you basically had this message from them that said, hey, we're postponing the launch, which is fine. You know, everyone wanted a chance to get these dino eggs. But then the next message was, hey, actually go fill out this form right here. No warning to it, just go fill out the form. And the first people to fill it out, they're gonna have a chance to get these eggs minted and airdropped into their wallets. And people were upset because they had planned their days around the public launch at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And it was delayed, that was fine. But then there wasn't any warning as far as when they were gonna have to do the next step. And there were a lot of people in the Discord upset because they went to sleep because it was late in their time zone or really early in the morning. Or maybe they were at work and hadn't set aside a time to take a break and go fill out this form. And then the creators that everyone know as well that actually the forms got filled out within six minutes and all of the eggs were already sold out. So you only had a six minute window to go and fill out this form. And if you weren't watching the Discord, most people missed it. So then their next announcement was here where they basically sent out the whitelist so you could go check your wallet address to see if you were on there. 3,030 people were eligible for the airdrop. You can see here one dino is 0.08 ETH, two dinos 0.16, three dinos 0.24 ETH. This includes a 0.055 mint price per NFT plus a gas fee that's built in. So a lot of people were super upset because they were looking forward to this project. They had set time aside, it got postponed, and then there wasn't another time set aside that they could prepare for. And it was just kind of sprung on people and a lot of people missed out. That's why the Discord was so fiery and so heated about this whole launch. A lot of people were really, really upset. But now that the launch is over, if you did not have a chance to mint them, your option is gonna be to get one on OpenSea secondhand. And the floor price has dropped significantly since the launch day. The launch day floor price was 0.6. It dropped down to about 0.4 and was holding pretty strong there. But now, as you can see, it's sitting right there at 0.16 Ethereum. If we go in here to the analytics, we can see the price history. On launch day and around launch day, the average price was 0.4678 Ethereum and then drop down to 0.43 Ethereum. Now, as of yesterday, it's 0.27 Ethereum. And I suspect once we get the data for today, it's gonna be even lower. And the highest price ones that were just sold are right around five to seven Ethereum. This one was sold for seven Ethereum, which is pretty awesome for whoever sold it. I did see this guy in the Discord. He's from Argentina. He said that this was life-changing money for him. So congratulations on being able to sell this and get that money. But should you be buying into Dapper Dinos? Well, it's up to you and your risk tolerance. Personally, I don't see that these are gonna be able to go down much more below this 0.16 Ethereum price. Because when you factor in that people bought these and minted them for 0.08 Ethereum, 0.16 is basically double. And when you factor in the gas fees to actually list your dino on OpenSea, as well as the 5% royalties that you're gonna be paying, 2.5% to Dapper Dinos and 2.5% to OpenSea, I wouldn't be surprised if this is pretty much the lowest we see it. We might see it drop down to maybe about as low as 0.12 Ethereum, but it's close enough to 0.16 that if you are interested, I would say go ahead and go grab a couple. We can compare this project as well on my 
my spreadsheet to some of the others. So we can see Dapper Dino's Discord, 16,000. Pretty good, they actually have more than World of Women, which is pretty surprising. Their Twitter is definitely not the highest. Their floor is pretty, pretty low. If we go ahead and sort these by descending, probably they have the lowest floor. So that's a great opportunity if you do wanna get into these. And then when you see their volume as well, they're definitely at the lowest, but again, brand new project. So it's gonna take a while for these volume numbers to get up. Now what's actually a really good sign to see is they have 4,600 holders, which means average of two eggs per holder, which means it's pretty evenly distributed. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of whales. And if we come over here to Etherscan, we can see that the biggest wallet has 31 eggs, which is actually not a lot for this kind of project. It's not uncommon to see projects where people have 50 to 100 of a certain NFT project. But having the top wallets only having 31 is not a bad sign at all. So my recommendations, if you're looking to buy a Dapper Dino, now is a good time because the floor is so low. I don't really anticipate it's going to get much lower, at least not much more that it's really going to be meaningful and you won't be saving a significant amount of money. If you have an Ethereum to spend, you can pick up five dinos and then see what the future brings. Of course, investing in NFTs is super risky, but also you do have a lot of upside potential. If this project were to perform like World of Women or Creature World, where the floor is over one Ethereum, then you would be making your money back just by selling one of those dinos. If it were to do something crazy like Board Ape Yacht Club and you're looking at a 20 or 30 ETH floor, well, then you're sitting pretty and you can probably go buy a Lambo. As always, do your own research. Let me know if you're gonna be buying one in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.